Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Afro Luigi and welcome back to Rovit Mechanic Sim. Eh, yeah, I can speak English. I'm Afro Luigi and welcome back to Rover Mechanic Simulator. And I don't know why, but every time I go to start recording, I start coughing. All right, so we're back and let's start a new. Let's just jump right into it aside from the uh, coughing. Um, I did went and bought one of the DLC. I think it was Perseverance. Either way, I bought, I bought the DLC, so now we have access to everything, so. Let's start with, um, Opportunity. I didn't even read what I was selecting. Uh, we're going to transport this particular module to Phobos, but there's one problem. Some mast holders do not stay, did not, do, some mast holders do not stabilize the mast correctly. Oppie is, really? Calling Opportunity Oppie? And as well, Oppie is folded. Replacing them should solve the problem. We need this rover to be foldable as soon as possible so we can pack it up, sterilize, and send up to the sky. Okay. So, yeah, that's that. So, let's get. Oh. Come on. There we go. Oh, it's. Oh. And we'll start with. <laughs> All the little logging in things, they can take a little while sometimes. Alright, so let's have a look at Oppie. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I don't like that. It's been a while since I recorded it, and here we go. So, the mast holders. Um, although they don't take active part during the scientific research, mast holders played an extremely crucial role in holding the vehicle together in one piece while it was folded. Spirit and Opportunity rovers were intricately folded into a tight and sturdy structure in order to prevent any damage during transportation and landing. The landings were carried out with the use of special parachutes and airbags that bounced on the surface of Mars until the landing impact energy was gone. I did not change my key binding settings, so I should do that between this and the next episode before I forget again. Alright. Uh, do we need to dust? I kind of want to dust these things to see if they need to be replaced at all. I don't think we can take these mast holder pieces apart, can we? No. So we need basically just uh, mast holder A, E, two A's, and an E. Two A's and an E. Oh, that's going to be quick. You know, I really do want to take those, pe those d do that dusting. So yeah, we're actually going to do that. It's because something. Part of me is thinking that these, these, all these repairs so far have been very straightforward, and it can't stay that way. Yeah, they've eventually got to get much more complicated. So I'm wondering if the uh, dust on these things is a trap. Uh, there's something that badly needs to be replaced here. Hmm. 
Yeah, because those pieces are in dire straits. So let's remove them so for dusting. On the plus side, they are fairly straightforward to remove. On the other hand, dusting in this game is not straightforward at all. There we go. Hinges will be removed momentarily. Do I need to unplug that cable or does the cable just automatic? Okay, that little thing comes out automatically. Bam! Oh, is that not coming? Okay, it does come off. I just wasn't having it aligned properly. <laughs> this was the easy part. Now comes the hard part. Dusting. All the red in the background is thrown off. Like, I'll be aligned, like, slightly here, and I'm like, oh, there's something over there spoken, but no, it's just the background. So, anyways, let's do some dusting. Alright. Alright, now we gotta find that tiny little section we're missing. Oh, there it is. It's gonna be the same on the side, isn't it? Yeah, there's a tiny little bit down there at the bottom. There. And, oh god, the solar rays. Oh, at work recently, I had to put a, we set up a kitch, uh, computer in one of our kitchens. I was looking at it, I'm like, I'm going to have to do a lot of regular cleaning on that computer. Oh, that, one, that one went easy. It's not in the kitchen properly, it's off the side, but still. I'm worried that that computer's going to require a lot of extra work. And... Come on. Alright. One more. Nope. I was thinking, I, I, I was half expecting to get called into work today. I'm kind of waiting on a text message from work, because I don't really want to mute my phone today. Just in case work calls me in. There. Now let's analyze these parts. Oh, good. They're all they're, all those parts are good. I wonder what management's going to think about the extra work I put into this thing. <laughs> Oh, 
On the other hand, when you're trying, they're start, start talking about they were talking about moving these things to Phobos. It really should set it up properly so it doesn't so it's not filthy. I'm probably so I'm probably not going to get any acknowledgement from this anyways. And I think we still have outer hinges on this one. Oh, no. That one, that one's done. And that'll be that. I wonder if they're going to have to deal with dust on Phobos, because it is, it's very small. Actually, yeah, I probably does have to deal with dust, it's not quite as uh, bad as Martian dust. There we go, she's like new. Perfect. We didn't have to do any extra work. So, well, we didn't have to, but we did it anyways. Let's, uh, well, actually, let's grab a new rover. Spirit, hi there. My name is Jasmine, and I have a favor to ask you. We've repaired the PCBs inside this rover, but we cannot replace the REM cover on our own. Would you be so kind and replace the cover for us? It's paid extra, but please don't tell anyone about it. Okay, why does everyone come to me with these orders where they're like, please don't tell anyone? Because, yeah, I seem to be getting a few of those. There. Yeah. Am I just the discreet guy? Is that why? Or is this just like a remote warehouse? Is this workshop just a remote one? Or none of ma where no one from management comes? I kind of feel as if it's the second one where just no one comes to this warehouse. So if they want to cover up a mistake, they send it here because they know there's going to be no one over here to talk to me. Okay, where is this REM? I think it has something to do with the PMA. Memory analysis. Hmm. Oh, something tells me this is inside the rover. Can we get inside this rover? Hmm. Into it, but we cannot replace the RM cover on our own. Um, so how are we going to get into this rover? Do we go in through the top? Let's find out, shall we? Because I don't think I've actually ever been inside this rover before. All right. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. We have to remove all that to get in there? Watch as I'm wrong and we don't have to get in there to take this part off to get into the rover. 
I was saying these were about to get a lot more complicated. And we're just about to find out. I'm half tempted to just disassemble this entire rover. Oh boy. Um, we might as well dust this solar panel since we're taking it off anyways. Oh, uh, 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 I make myself known as the dusting guy. Oh boy, there's still so much to take off. This is the issue with some techno with, uh, I've noticed with some devices where to get at a specific component, you have to take so much extra junk off it. Not that any of this stuff is junk, but uh, Wow. I'm dreading taking off some of those components on top of the rover. Like this thing here. Oh, we're going to learn a bunch about this rover probably. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh boy. All right, next solar panel. <laughs> Just work around the outside and work our way in. Yeah, this, this little section here I'm dreading taking apart. Yeah, there's, doesn't look like there's any other way into the center components. Besides from utterly disassembling this thing. I figured they could have sent me the drone disassembled. That would have saved us all some time. Yeah, the reason everyone sends me this project they don't want anyone to know about is entirely because of how remote this is. They're not the least bit concerned that someone's going to discover I am taking this rover apart. All right, let's take care of the, H the high gain antenna that can be sent a beam of data in a specific direction. Steerable antenna is a power saving solution as the rover is not required to move while sending data. I think someone put that label upside down, though. I have to take apart all the internal parts for this too. That's just that's an engine thing, because normally I should just be able to disassemble like this part here. All right, is it coming off? Oh uh, yeah. Now the B. 
face. That wasn't as bad as I thought taking this this section off. And we're about to see the inside of this rover. Because we still got to get the PMA off. But that's after that's that's gonna be the last little bit. This rover's in remarkably good condition though. Uh, dirt wise, I said normally I think the drones have been a bit more dirty than I than we've seen before. And we have uh There. Oh, we supposed to take these things. More mast holders. <laughs> this whole mast holder assembly's gotta go. We just need to get this, these things off now. Forward magnet array. Oh, that's it. We can take this thing apart now. We're about to get into the rover for finally. <laughs> I wonder what this thing's insides look like. Is it just going to be one giant circuit board like the other rover? Ah, uh, that's the thing that we need, we need to repair. Oh god, can you imagine trying to access those screws down there? This is not going to be a quick print, is it? All right. Uh, miniature thermal emission spectrometer device assists the scientists in identification of valuable soils and rocks. Well, um, can we disassemble the REM thing? Or does the whole thing have to be replaced? <laughs> Look at all those. Oh, we can't disassemble the REM. So, what needs... Okay, just the REM cover. Oh, look at all these little circuit boards. Just a server, little server, server rack in, uh, circuit board rack in here. Now, let's see how long. Okay. The only thing we're going to have to replace is the REM cover. REM cover. There. Oh, that's a quick fix. Um, I 
Are they going to tell us what this gift is? Um, okay, so I just got a gift from Jasmine and I don't know what it is. Maybe the uh, end tutorial will tell us. Well, not the end tutorial, the outro. Yes, I do kind of want to, especially now that Jasmine gave us a gift for this, we should probably do a little bit extra. I don't know what the gift is, but we received it. There we go. There. And the back magnet now. The annoying little back magnet. Not quite, but getting there. All right. <laughs> Where's that last little bit of dust hiding? There we go. Did I not grab the REM cover? Did I grab the wrong REM cover? Um, I might have grabbed the wrong REM cover. I did. Okay, now I have a spare REM cover. That's my fault for not looking that closely, though. While we're waiting, let's do an analysis of some of these parts we haven't looked at, like the back magnet. That one's good. How about the solar panels we had to dust? Alright, we're all good. Now we have the right REM cover. Rover Electronics Module. That makes sense. Now, <laughs> for the long task of reassembling this thing. You know what? I'm going to cut here. When I cut back, this rover will be assembled. So, see you in a second. Alright, I'm back, and the drone is fully assembled. Rover, not drone. Different. There. And let us reprogram this thing and see what happens. Alright, complete the order. What happens? Perfect! And that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!